Righty, here we go. So there's the wall. Don't actually know how old the wall is. Um, I'm just guessing it is very old, probably, you know, at least a couple hundred years or something. Um, you could just see, obviously, bits where, you know, plants have got in there, pushed all the old lime out. It's at the bottoms quite. Looks like the ground level was a bit higher because obviously you've got that dark sort of green stain going all the way to the bottom. And obviously this bed's been dug out, so it's probably just been lowered. But you can see it's just no mortar in there. There's no lime or anything, you know what I mean? No, uh, it's non-existent. So yes, so we're just gonna spend probably a day or two um, pecking it out. So just getting out all the old mortar. Um, we're gonna do it by hand on this one. So we're just gonna use a pecking hammer like that. Uh, just go on it really nice and gently um, just because there's quite a few small loose stones um, and we just don't want a we don't want any of the stones obviously moving and b we don't want to damage any of the stones sometimes if you're ramming in like a you know drill or whatever and it's a lot easier to do but it's not you know what i mean it's more disruption to the wall and the last thing we want is obviously to, to disturb anything, basically. We just want to take out the old lime, replace it with new, lovely, jubbly. So it's quite a good stretch, really. You think from there to there. So yeah, so about first things first, really. You're just going to start at one end <laughs> and just work our way all the way along. Like I say, just using that pecking hammer, getting all the old mortar out. Um, yeah. Once that's done, obviously, as I go, I normally just use a brush like that, just like a hard sort of churn brush, just to sort of get out all the dust and stuff. But yeah, so that is job number one, really. Um, you know, get all that pecked out. Then we can obviously evaluate it. Any stones that move and stuff, obviously, we can relay, etc. Pull out all this vegetation, because that is probably the worst thing that could really be in it. Little shoots of uh, ivy popping out as well which obviously is an indication that it's quite hollow in there. So we just want to make sure we rake out as much of the pointing as possible. And then, you know what I mean? Obviously we can fill it back in with lime. Looks like there's been some repairs on it over the years, like, but I'd say just them little bushes and stuff are just the worst thing, really. So yeah, righty, I've got my little pecker out. I've got my brush. I'm gonna go grab a hop up and uh, yeah, start pecking. Let's go. Pecky, peck, 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 peck. Bit quite lucky, really, with this one. The wall's quite damp, like, so uh, it's not too dusty. I've got a pair of sunglasses on just to stop any sort of big shards coming towards, but I would just as long as you're working below shoulder height, obviously, most of it just drops down, like, never try and work above you. So, obviously, that's why I'm doing the bottom half. Because once we get a trellis here or some hop-ups, etc., we can then do the top. Because if you work above yourself, you're just going to get covered, absolutely covered. But yeah, if you like to say, if you've got a dry wall though, you know, wear a mask as well. It's, it's all dust. It's all dust, but like this stuff is all right. Look, it's just coming, you know, it's going straight off really. Always work, you know, when you're pecking as well, it's always people try and work down so it goes down. But you know, you don't really get yeah. Always good to wear something on your eyes though. So I'm just wearing a pair of sunglasses at the minute. If it was a bit drier, obviously you want the, you know, the whole eye covering and um, goggle things. But uh, this is not too bad. So but yeah, you know, if, you, if you've got them, obviously wear them. Wear them. So yeah, just sort of not banging too hard. Just uh, going in. I always like to get a hole of my finger basically so um i don't know i suppose it's about four centimeters at least we like to get in really sort of try and work off you are sometimes restricted by the stone but basically the deeper you go the better really um obviously keep an eye on your stones because you don't want them obviously dropping too much but then obviously your wall shouldn't be hollow so normally you're nine times out of ten you're all right see the stones are sort of collapsed onto each other as well which isn't really the best good thing about old walls as well once you sort of get that outer crust off um, the inside is normally 
dusty. I say you just want to tap at it. You don't want to like hammer into it, you know. Just there. Uh, work it out when you do repointing. You know, you find obviously the preparation side, like all this pecking out. You know, the dampening down and stuff is obviously the most time-consuming. You know, pointing it's not too bad, but you've got to prep it well. Like I say, nice deep joints. Um, you know, at least, at least sort of 30, 40 mil. You know. Because if you don't do nice, if you just do it shallow, um, you know, well, lime, you know, the lime just won't last. It'll just blow out. It'll crumble, crack, just because it's not really bedded onto anything. Once we've uh, finished pecking, we will go along, uh, obviously brush it all out, and then we'll get like a hose or a sprayer or whatever, and obviously spray all the joints out, make sure there's no loose, um, you know, nothing loose in the joints and stuff, so it's totally clean. And then obviously when we do come to pointing, we will dampen it down again, obviously not soaking wet it, but just obviously dampen it. And obviously when we apply the lime, it just gives it something to, uh, to stick onto basically. Quite good on this section really, there's nothing that I say. We've got a few ivy shoots coming through. Um, so there's gotta be, something that's the thing about these really obviously we're going to do this side but you, you don't know what the other side of the ball is like so that's the problem really if you're repointing one side you're always better off doing the other side as well but if you can't do it you can't do it yeah no, that's it really nothing there uh, not much to it really like i say you just want to go gentle um you know, deeper the better, just, just, you know, you're just basically trying to make up gullies and openings for the lime, you know. You want it to be able to get into as much as possible and proper, you know, stick onto it. And that's the problem, you get the point a wall up really shallow, like bits like that, just lob it on, you know what I mean? You know, it might last a year, but that's the thing, it's gonna last a year. As soon as a bit of moisture gets in behind there or like a frost or you know really cold weather you know the water expands it'll just pop it out easy easy lovely lovely right i'm gonna carry on with this get all this done um and yeah that's gonna be nice to get a good chunk done really just give me a bit of a brush you know sort of see where you're mine's get grinder or something in there because obviously the walls obviously dropped slightly unless it was built like that but sort of seems quite consistent throughout the wall like so just so you just get a little bit more in there because the problem with these on these pecking hammers you got you got uh two sort of types of end a wider bit and a thinner bit and even the thinner bit isn't really getting in there as you, you can hear do you know what i mean obviously that's that's lime that's stone See that that doesn't like, stick onto anything you see. I think it has actually dropped looking at it, it's like a little ledge. So we'll just probably grind that little bit out just so we can obviously get something onto it. Oh look at that, missed that bit. It's the thing as well with this air uh, pecking out, you sort of do do your initial peck and then obviously go back over. Bits like that, like I just missed there. You do it all the time. I think it's just because you get to a point when you pick it out you just want to get it done <laughs> you just uh oh oh that's a thick bit do you know what there's nothing more satisfying than getting big chunks like that out oh it is lovely oh. what i see a lot of people do actually with these well which I don't personally think you should do because A, it'll snap your hammer and B, you can easily move a stone. It's like they ram it in, oh, bit, and then pull it up. 
yank it out like that. Just tap it. You will slowly beat it up. You know what I mean? You just gotta just work it really, you know? Ram it in and rush it. Because last thing you wanna do is obviously I could do that, ram that in there, pull it. You're gonna, you know, you got a big risk of pulling out a stone. Especially on an old wall like this, you know? Obviously a newer wall, that shouldn't happen, but I don't think it would take much to pull these out, really. Right, let's get our peckers out and crack on. Lovely, jubbly. Get in there, sort of coming up to about halfway. Just getting right in there, nice and deep. Um, it's quite tricky on some of this as well because the, some of the stones have collapsed and they're touching, which is a bit of a pain in the bum, but uh, you just got to do what you can, really. Uh, sometimes we do sort of, you know, grind a wider hole, but these look like these are actually dropped and obviously lean on top of each other. So you just want to be a bit careful of that, really. Um, sort of just get as much out as possible and then, yeah, just hope hope it stays in. But, uh, yeah, no, it's all right. That's an old wall, really old wall. It's lovely, actually. Um, not a lot of the stone is sort of cracked or crumbled, which is good. Um, we've had a few sort of, like, you see there, obviously the face is blown a little bit. It's just old stone. It's been It's been standing there a long while, this one. Um, I did speak to the uh, the clients, but they didn't actually know. But they know it's obviously, you know, at least 200 years old, at least. So, yes, so that, you know, I think it might be the original wall. I do not know for sure, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's all right. So, yeah, we're just going to literally crack on with it today to keep going, like I say, all the way down to the bottom. Um, and, yeah, it's just one of them days, like I say, we're just really really raking it out and what we'll do as well is obviously after we've got to this stage is obviously get a hose with a bit of a jet jet it all out brush it all out um you know really get as much sort of loose stuff debris whatever you want to call it out as possible get it all out like i say if you prep this really well um it's just so much easier because pointing is not going to take long at all it's just going to be quick, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, no, it's all right. It's just a bit of a change. Like I say I haven't done a, haven't repointed the wall like this for a long while. But, yeah, no, we've got, still got quite a bit to peck out there. So, yeah, it will be all right. It will be all right. Like I say, we're still on the hammers. We have got, um, like, a little electric kangaroo. But we're not going to use it. It's just we did, we tried it on some of the bigger joints down the bottom. They used uh, cement on the repairs light. So, you know, a little pecking hammer does struggle uh, to uh, get it out. So we have used it a couple, especially down the bottom here, there's a few like pluggy things where they've just bashed in a load of cement. But to be fair, for most of the wall, all this sort of stuff, um, you know, we're just gonna stick to the, stick to the pecking hammer. Like I say, it's a, it don't take too long, really, like I say. Well, it's the second day today of doing this. So uh, we should have a big hit of this done. So it's not too bad, really. Um, like I say, obviously, I've got most of that bit done. Well, up to about there on my own. So I've got Cambo here today. So, yeah, no, it's all right. Like I say, it's uh, we'll get there. Like I say, after today, we should have most of this done, really. Um, might just have to finish some off tomorrow. And then it'll just be pointing. Right little treat. Right little treat. But, yeah, no, it's all about prepping, like I say. 
it's all good really it's just you know it would have been good you know if you, it's just obviously like i say the walls just dropped so some bits are just a bit bit difficult but sometimes if you just keep pecking at it just really gently because you don't want to you know you don't want to risk you know damaging any of the stone light but you should just make enough of a gap just to get a bit of pointing in there it should last you know sometimes it don't sometimes it does it's just what it is but without rebuilding it there's no way of really going around that because even if you uh you know cut a little bit of that off it's just going to drop even more so you're better off keeping it strong it's obviously been settled like that for such a long time so righty 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 let's keep going well actually have a cup of coffee first and uh yeah got a say crack on this afternoon try and get it all done getting all the plants out as well just try not to not try not to take down too much but coursing has been really lovely on this one because if you look that's going uphill when it's been built it's been lo built lovely and coursed Obviously, it has dropped a little bit and that, but you can sort of see there the way the rows are going. You know, for an old wall, it's, it's nice, really. Because when you see the wall looking like that, it's a bit, you know, <laughs> can't really tell what stone is, can you? But when you see it like now, there's a lot of stone in that wall. You know, it's nice, nice. But anyway, let's like say, let's go have a slurp and then a crack on this afternoon and see how much of this we can get bossed out lovely jubbly lovely jubbly Cam, Cam, you okay, Cam? Cam's pecking. We are getting there. We dampened that down this morning. Um, you can see all the what difference it makes getting all the dust out, like, because that's all been uh, pecked and raked out. But obviously, we haven't dampened it, so you can sort of see. But now it's going really good, actually. It's nice, uh, nice tight wall, actually. Getting some good uh, deep joints out of her. But yes, yeah, so we've just got this bit down here to crack on with tomorrow. I know it's all going good. It's going to look lovely. Going to uh, I left the tops as well. I'm going to crack on with them tomorrow because it's two man job really. We're just going to take the tops off. Obviously get rid of it. Um, it's all we can do really without obviously rebuilding it. They're pretty much on the surface. Then roots. They're not like right in the wall, so that's good. So we like to say just lift them up, pull everything out. You know, reset them all. But obviously we want to try and do that when we're actually pointing because. Uh, We'll have a, a bit of lime knocked up and that ready. But no, we're all doing good. It's going to look lovely, this, when it's done. It's just a lot of prep, a lot of pecking. Marissa is feeling it. It is hard work, like, but uh, no, it's, it's, it's a lot better, like I say, doing it by hand. It's just an old, delicate wall, so we're just being as careful as possible. But anyway, another day done. Lovely jubbly, righty. Let's crack on home and bring on tomorrow. Bye, Cam. See you tomorrow, Cam. <laughs> oh, I love it. Right, anyway, over and out. See you in a bit. Bye-bye.